Hello! I'm Rhett, and today I'm going to be reading some r slash entitled parents stories. Read by Red. Okay, here is the first story. Apparently saying that I have no hair extensions is the wrong answer. So this happened yesterday at work and a little fact that will be important later is that I have very thick hair. My mum likes to joke saying that I can tie down ships whenever I have it in a plait. Anyways, I was working last night and I served a lady and her family their food. She didn't look like a typical Karen, but I felt there was something off about her. Her smile looked too forced and her voice dripped sugar when she spoke to me. Thank you. I love your hair, by the way. You have to tell me who did your extensions. It honestly took me a second to process that part. Thanks, but I don't have any extensions in my hair. It's just really thick. No, no you don't. No one's hair is that thick. I'm sorry, but this is my natural hair. I swear I saw her eye twitch slightly as she continued smiling. I turned to walk away when I felt a really sharp tug on my head. I yelped in pain and turned around to see that that entitled mother was trying to rip my extensions out. Don't you lie to me, you little witch! No one's hair is that thick! Don't you dare lie to me! Tell me you're wrong! Tell me you're wrong. This lasted about 10 seconds when her husband pulled her off me and made her sit down. I hurried away, cry about to cry, and grabbed one of my managers and told them what had happened. I went upstairs, and from what I heard later on, my manager kicked them all out and banned Entitled Mother from the restaurant. And I got to sit upstairs for half an hour. My head's still a little sore, but I definitely won't forget that encounter. <laughs> it's like, how dare you have nicer hair than me? Uh, 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 uh. It's all ridiculous. You know, no one's 100% happy with every feature they have. Or if you are, you're, you're incredibly lucky. That sounds awesome. But you... <laughs> Getting angry at other people for having a feature you admire is pointless. And doesn't it doesn't it just make you feel worse? All right, here is the next story. Entitled mother wants resort upgrades for a resort she's not staying in and puts the actual safety of her nearly drowned son behind being found out. This happened Memorial Day opening weekend of 2006 but it feels like yesterday and the details will always be fresh in my mind it's long but definitely an enraging story worth reading my very first legitimate job at age 16 was as a lifeguard for both the indoor and outdoor pools at a large lake resort i had absolutely nothing to do with reservations rooms housekeeping the restaurants etc I was a frickin' lifeguard. It was my third day on the job. Anybody could access the outdoor pool since the resort was located in a state park, open to the public. We often had people coming up from the lake and the marina trying to swim in the pool. Anybody could buy a season pass or a single day entry to the pools. And we had two employees that would periodically walk the outdoor pool deck to check for either room keys or pool passes. One day, a woman was letting her young son swim freely without any supervision and was sitting at a table with an umbrella on the corner of the deck, sloping down alcoholic beverages. She kept sending her slightly older daughter over to my lifeguard stand to complain about things. My mummy wants to know why nobody has come to take another drink order. My mummy says the umbrella doesn't give enough shade and wants to know if we can move to the upper deck. The upper deck was reserved for guests of the resort and had assigned tables and chairs with umbrellas per room number. The third time this kid came up to me, without taking my eyes off the water, I told her to let her mummy know that the lifeguards weren't in charge of these things and that they couldn't carry on conversations with anybody while keeping people safe in the pool. Daughter goes back over to mum. Mum walks over and pulls son from water and to talk to him for a minute. And then the son gets back to swimming. I'm actively scanning and could see all of this. 
Five minutes later, Entitled Mother comes over to my stand and demands that I give her a spot on the upper deck. When I refused to look in her direction and started to tell her that she'd need to talk to the front desk, she somewhat quietly hissed at me about how rude I was being. Next thing I know, her son goes underwater. He's in the deep end, where he can't touch, and isn't a strong swimmer. He was holding onto a ledge but got distracted, I wonder by what, and let go. I immediately blew my whistle and jumped in, pulled him up out of the pool and started assessing him. The other guard on duty blows her whistle and empties the water. Protocol for a rescue there. Everyone is watching and Entitled Mother screams, How dare you ignore my requests! How dare you embarrass my son and me like this! She yanks her son up by the arm and starts pulling him towards their table as I follow and tell her we need to wait on EMS to arrive, which the other lifeguard had called to the front desk and requested via radio. She screams, He is fine and we are leaving! Son is coughing up water and crying and I attempt to tell the mom about delayed dry drowning. By now the aquatics and resort manager are walking in our direction. The managers both make it to us. Entitled mother is refusing to wait for EMS, screaming that she's a CNA and can care for her own son and that dry drowning isn't real and we can't keep them there. The aquatics manager asks her to stay long enough to fill out an incident report slash refusal form and the resort manager asks for her room number so they can be checked on later. This is when everything clicks. Entitled mother has no room number, which I already knew but didn't have time to mention to my manager. No pool pass and no right to be there at all. She's willing to risk her son's life in order to avoid this information becoming apparent. She snuck in after the last deck check and planned to leave as the next started, about a two hour window. Daughter is crying now saying, Mommy said we were coming here to swim and get ice cream. Entitled mother is screaming about suing me and the resort and is belligerent enough that the management determines she's drunk and can't drive with her kids. Park rangers show up, followed by EMS, and the rest is out of my hands. I honestly don't know what happened to them. I do know the family was permanently banned from the resort though. That was the first rescue I ever made, and I was commended for it by management and other pool goers. It was a wild Sunday. Oh my god. What the heck? Why would you risk your child's life over something so petty? And, you know, what, what are they gonna do? And say, oh no, you shouldn't have done that, get out. Like, it's not, they're not gonna get you arrested for that. Your, your son is in your son needs medical attention if you nearly drown you need medical attention god this is a true entitled mother she's willing to risk her children's lives for her own personal life crusade it's absolutely disgusting okay well We've come to the end of another video. I hope you guys enjoyed those r slash entitled parent stories read by red. That's me. <laughs> Please give the video a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe as well because I like you to do that and you like me, right? Mm, yeah, cool. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. Have a good rest of your day.